Today I'm going to walk you through the calibration wizard for the new CraftBot Flow Generation IDEX printer. We'll start by clicking on the settings button and then the calibrate button. From here you can choose different options but we're going to use the wizard today and so we just click here and we click next to get started. Now the first thing the wizard's going to ask you to do is to make sure that you unload all of your filament from the system. You're just going to remove any objects from the print bed. Then you need to make sure that you clean the bed with alcohol using the wipes that are provided in the maintenance kit. And when you've done that, we're ready to move on. So this screen explains a little bit about what's going to be happening next. And so first, it's going to be measuring the lowest point on the print bed and setting your Z calibration. Next, the printer is going to heat itself to a printing temperature so that all the measurements are accurate. After it's done heating, it'll go ahead and detect the edges of the plate, set the Z calibration, and then we'll move on to XY. At this point, the printer has detected exactly where the first extruder is, and so now we're going to need to loosen the head on the second extruder in order to make sure that it's set at the same height. Now the wizard has completed detecting the offset between the BL touch sensor and the first nozzle head, so we'll move on to setting the Z leveling on the second extruder. To do that, we're going to use the supplied wrench in order to loosen two screws on the side of the second extruder, and then we'll proceed with the wizard. Now that we've loosened the two screws and pushed the hot end down, we're going to return to the wizard and click Next. And that'll make sure that this extruder end is set at the same height. Now we're going to return and we're going to tighten those same screws back up. Now that we've tightened the two screws back up, we'll return to the wizard and click Next so that it can continue with its calibration. Now it's finished calibrating the Z level on each of the two extruders. It's going to go about setting the XY offset between the two extruders in order to make sure that they're in alignment. Now our calibration is finished and we're ready to move on with the rest of the wizard. Next, we're going to go about leveling the bed. At this point, the printer will take various measurements across the build plate and use that information in order to make sure that the bed is calibrated correctly. The wizard will notify you if you need to turn any of the adjustment screws. So as the wizard tells me, I'm going to go ahead and turn the middle adjustment screw to the left until the display tells me that I've actually set it right into the middle. Now it's going to repeat this process for the middle, the back right, and the back left. Now after all, doing all three areas, it'll come back and make sure that there were no mistakes, and it'll notify you if you need to redo anything. And once they're all set correctly, we'll be finished leveling the build plate. Next, the wizard is going to take us through mesh bed leveling, where it's going to take measurements at various points throughout the plate in order to make sure that there are no inconsistencies. Now we'll move on to the last part of the calibration wizard where we'll calibrate the filament sensors. We're going to select which type of filament we have on either side. In this case, we have PLA on both sides. We're going to use the default temperatures for the type of filament that we're using. And now it's going to heat up so that we can actually load the filament into the extruders. Now that the filament has finished loading, we'll just click Done and start calibrating the filament sensors themselves. Now the filament sensors have finished calibrating, we can move on with the wizard. Here we're at the end of the wizard and we've completed calibrating your printer, congratulations. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helped you calibrate your printer and get printing.